Strange Adventures is a popular comic book store in Halifax, and in every comic book store, there is one name everyone knows, Stan Lee. Lee has co-creations which have leapt from comic book panels to the movie screen, from X-Men, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Thor, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. But everyone we spoke to had a unanimous favorite. Mine is Spider-Man. <laughs> I just always loved Peter Parker from the time I was a little kid. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> One fan actually had a chance to meet Stan Lee, and it was a moment she'll never forget. He didn't really talk a whole lot. He, um, he kind of sat at the table across from me and signed the comic book, and he was very quiet. He gave like the most genuine sweet smile too as a comic book creator and as somebody who kind of added to a culture that touched so many lives and for me watching Spider-Man as a kid and like seeing the stories of these characters just kind of tapped into the type of person that I wanted to be to be better. In any comic book store Lee has more than one fan. Like I told my best friend, I don't know what I'd do if Stan Lee ever died. He's, supposed, he's the kind he's supposed to live forever because he's always there. I love his, all of his characters, really. You know, he just created worlds for us. Well, he was, he's an icon. I mean, if it wasn't for him, this store wouldn't be here. Amber Rose says that Stan Lee's legacy steps outside of entertainment. Because he told stories of characters who didn't fit societal societal norms that he was able to kind of like let those people know that they're incredible and that they're special or that they're amazing. Stanley is known today for the cameos he makes in Marvel movies, but it's not those cameos that will live on, it's the characters he made and the worlds he built. For the signal, I'm Colin Bullard.